Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Lads, this market is dying. That's the easiest way to put it. Everything on this game right now is literally dying in price because Premier League Team of the Season content is so insane and the cards are so cheap that everybody is trying to get these cards and while doing that, they're selling everything else from their teams and just prices everywhere are down horrendous yesterday also of course as you guys were very excited to see and we did end up getting the insane upgrade packs ea didn't just release the one that we wanted they released so many good upgrade packs the pre the premium premier league upgrade pack which is the best one you can do this sbc the 80 plus pl premier league player pick is also cracked both of these in combination with each other can create some awesome team of the season pack pulls. I mean, I packed six team of the season yesterday and they weren't even that good. But I know so many people that packed blues yesterday. These packs are giving out like crazy. So I know more people are going to be doing these throughout the week this week. And it doesn't look good for the rest of the market even continuing on through this week. Because we have some leaks to look at today about team of the season SBCs that will be dropping during this week for Premier League items. And our first Bundesliga Tots leak for Jude Bellingham, and he looks unbelievable. So, lads, right now, everything on this market is down horrendous, but it makes sense. And we're going to talk about why it continues to make sense and just why the market is crashing so much. It's just one big, huge correction, and it's, it's just taking place because of how insane the content and the cards and the prices specifically are inside of Prem Tot. So we're going to talk about all that in today's video. If you're enjoying the content on the channel, of course, hit a thumbs up on the video. And of course, subscribe if you're new. Let's just start off by talking about the market again, right? And if there's maybe any little bit of hope. Well, I thought there was a little bit of hope yesterday, right? I knew there was going to be upgrade packs, um, of course, yesterday on Monday. But you know, last night, I actually went out and bought some cards because I thought there was going to be some small market rises, which there were, right? I made a bunch of coins on Mitrovic. We talked about him in last night's video. But after yesterday's insane content, a lot of the cards that I bought, and I know a lot of the cards that maybe you guys were buying, like if you were trying out any team of the season cards, we were talking about buy time for these. We mentioned in the next couple of days was going to be good. I mean, take a look at Hyun Min Sun right now. This guy's 700,000 coins flat. He was 800K yesterday. He's down 100,000 coins since yesterday. I was looking at Diogo Jota as a TOTS card at like 230 last night. And right now, Jota is under 200,000 coins. He's like 190,000 coins. He was just 190 flat, like 180. Um, and so like so many of the Premier League TOTS cards are down. But then if you take a look at the rest of the market, I mean, do you guys remember this Gravenberch being literally yesterday like 1.2 mil? Yeah, he's a million coins, 1.015. The panic is everywhere, and it's ridiculous. I think I've shown foot birthday Dybala a couple times, and Dybala was like 570,000 coins yesterday. Oh, yeah, now Dybala is 496. I mean, these cards are so rare, which makes them really tempting to trade with, and I totally understand if you guys are trading with these cards, but it is just such an easy way to lose coins right now because so many people are not motivated to be buying cards off the market, especially if they're not Premier League or if they're not linking to some of these cards that people want to try out and use in their teams, right? I bought Suarez last night at 890, uh, like four of them to, to see if I could sell him because he was down from 1 million coins the day before. He's now down to 840K. So honestly, some of my buys from yesterday, while I did make some coins, I'm also probably losing about five to 600, maybe even 700,000 coins on some of these cards that are in here. I bought a bunch of Antonys in the low to mid 80s. This guy's like 70K now. So if you guys are losing coins, I'm right there with you, right? We can drown in our sorrows together. But also, there's really not a reason to drown in the sorrows of losing some coins because also at the same time when this market is dropping, um, this huge correction is happening because these team of the season cards are so cheap. There's also such a great content that is out uh, that it's also like, okay, I'm losing coins, but the content is so good and that's what's causing me to lose coins. So it's like, mm, you know, I'm going to weigh the positive and the negative here and spin a positive light on it and say, okay, yes, I'm losing coins, but the content is so good then I'm slightly okay with it. I know I can make those coins back. I know that we will make coins again. But as of right now, everything is in the mud and we just kind of have to deal with it, right? And like I'm saying, there will be some cards that will bounce back. And you get, you see me you see me taking some coins on some of these cards. I did make coins on this Gerard, bought, that as, bought this at 260. I have bought some TOTS cards tonight because I do think that a couple of them could rise up after rewards. Today on Tuesday, that's a common fluctuation that you see. 
Um, and you know, th that could include some of these TOTS Premier League cards because some of them have dropped off, like I said, so much in value. Bernardo Silva is 140. Jota is 193. Trent is 130. Uh, Sun is 700,000 coins. Those are like the biggest drop-offs in price. Ruben Diaz is under 200K. Like that's crazy, right? I know he's only down 20K from yesterday. He was 220, rose to 230. Um, but, you know, some of these cards have just dropped down slow, so low. And usually every single week, when weekend leagues rewards are pushed out, we see a bit of a rise on these sorts of cards. And these are also the cards that are the most hyped and the most popular right now. So you might see a bit of kickback on some of these cards too. And yesterday, with all the insane upgrade pack SBCs, yesterday was probably the peak of the hype for people going out and sending cards from their club, sending cards from either, you know, buying cards uh, on the market, like buying gold cards to go and do upgrade packs. So I honestly do think that you'll see a bit of the market, even in other player, other areas, bounce back, maybe starting today and, and heading into a little bit later on this week, but it's not going to be everywhere, right? Again, the reason that this market is down so much, once again, is it is a true market correction because these cards are so cheap, but so usable. And the content that's being released at the same time is so good value. All the upgrade pack SBCs that we had, um, the player SBCs that we've had. We had a 30,000 coin Akin Fenua yesterday for, I mean, one of the craziest cards and one of the craziest upgrades we've like ever seen in this game. Four star, four star. He got a work rate change. He got a skill move and a weak foot boost. They added finesse shot trade. He got like plus 56 acceleration and plus 63 stamina from his uh, silver card. Like, I know this guy, this guy isn't the most meta, but this is just a, a freaking sick SBC. And there's the promise and the leak of even better content to come. So let me finish off this just kind of idea here. I do think that some of the market will start to bounce back today because the most hype for a lot of these upgrade packs was yesterday, but the insane content's gonna continue rolling out. So I don't think you're gonna see cards explode back i think you'll see a few cards start to rise back a little bit maybe um you know royce 155 like what ben yetter 595 that's absolutely crazy price for him you'll see maybe a few of these more rare out of packs cards bounce back a little bit because right now i feel like we have to be in basically the peak of the panic selling for how much these cards have bounced down so I'm if be very careful. That's what I'm going to say. If you're going to try to buy some cards and make some coins, be very, very careful. But I think there will be a few opportunities out of all these cards that are down. And the last thing I'm going to say is do not hold any Premier League out of pack specials unless it's for your team and you don't care about losing coins. Fred, Zaha, Laporte, these cards or any other Premier League out of pack special card that has maintained its price somewhat well during this promo, they're going to get hit even worse even this joe cole card these cards with how the leaks look for bundesliga tots even though we've only seen one card and the, the hype's going to transition away from premier league so i really think that selling those cards in the next couple of days would be in your best opinion again unless you just want to buy a team this is the end of fifa for you and you want to hold on to it right i can't fault with that if you want to if you want to do that that's completely up to you again it's all about perspective and how you view this game and what you want to do with your coins how much you play all that sort of stuff, just trying to provide some insight for wherever you might be uh, in, in the game of FIFA right now at the moment. But the content is not going to slow down. That is what it seems based off of the leaks that we had yesterday. This is the first one. Tots Phil Foden is added to come via an SBC. And these are the expected stats. Again, expected stats basically means league stats. Um, and then maybe, of course, as we've seen EA do, they've changed a couple stats around, you know, plus ones, plus twos, minus ones, minus twos on some cards from this last week during Prem Tots. We hope they don't do any of the uh, subtracting, of course, but this Phil Foden card would be such a huge SBC. Yes, it might be a bit expensive as a lot of the English SBCs are in this game. And you think about SBCs we've seen already, um, obviously, Akin Fenema was very cheap, but, you know, we've had a Harry Kane, we've had a Deli Ali, both good cards with nice upgrades, but they have been a little bit more expensive. I would imagine Phil Foden's going to be pretty expensive too, but this is going to be one of the best midfielders in the game. His cards this year have been so good, and this, a lot of people, myself included, are going to want to get this SBC done. So, just be on the lookout. We don't have a confirmed release date for this, but probably this SBC for Foden and the other leaked Premier League SBC in the next, of course, three days before we get to Friday. So we have Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday for these two SBCs to come out. So two of the next three days, 
will be having these two big cards. And the other card we have to look at today is Kulusevsky, another Spurs or former Spurs item. It's kind of crazy how EA is showing so much love to Tottenham. Um, and, you know, their players and former players, if you think back through the past couple months uh, on the year. But Tots Moments Kulusevsky, it's going to be a Tots Moments card, not a team of the season item. He is four star, four star on his base item. So a lot of people would hope that he would get to a five star skill boost. Um, and yeah, that's another reason to sell some of those prem right wings like Sancho, like Marius that are up a lot in value at the moment. I think that is something that uh, might be an area of the market that could be hit. Maybe even Joe Cole. If this card does a five-star skill move boost, and I would imagine that it's going to be under four to five hundred k to complete this SBC, so going to be a pretty cool card. I'm going to be getting this one 100. percent A lot of hype right now. A new transfer to Spurs, of course. So that's another leaked SBC. And again, what this just tells me is EA is not ending the uh, Premier League team of the season like on a slow note. Like they're going out with a bang, uh, and that's what they want to do. With this Tots, with Foden and Kulusevsky both added as SBCs, they're they're going all out, right? EA Sports is really going all out with this last couple days here of, of Prem Tots. So that's a big W in my opinion. Now, just a little bit of insight. We're probably going to see some more Bundesliga leaks pretty soon. But this is the first Bundesliga Tots leak. And look at the stats on this Jude Bellingham. Again, it's expected stats, so they could change a little bit. And I really hope that EA is not getting our hopes up here with a club 90 Jude Bellingham. Yes, chat. Uh, now, I, again, I said it chat. I, got, I, I can't stay chat in the YouTube videos. I'm not live streaming. I got to get better at that. Anyways, Jude Bellingham, 90 rated overall in every single stat. 96 overall rating, but this is nine goal and gang, as some people call it, right? He's 90 or above in every single stat. That card looks unbelievable. I hope those are his final stats, and I hope EA don't change anything because this card would be absolutely nuts. And I would presume that we would start to see some more Bundesliga Tots leaks in the next couple of days. And if all of the cards are going to be super duper juiced, like this Jude Bellingham is, that would also hurt the market and the potential for some cards to rise on the market even more in the coming days if the next Tot squad is coming out is incredibly cracked. So this Jude Bellingham, of course, he does have the future stars item that is on the market and it is down in price because of this leak. He's 836,000 coins. He's down from like a million coins from what he was on the weekend. I know a lot of people are looking at this Jude Bellingham and they're thinking, Nate, is this guy going to have the same fluctuation as the future stars Gravenberch did, right? This card was panic sold big time. He went to 300K, but then exploded because his Tots card was so expensive. Now his Tots card is down a lot because I think people have used Jude Bellingham as an insane center mid throughout the year. Now they're seeing this insane uh, Gravenberch, um, or they, they, they used Gravenberch after he was released. And now this leak for another Jude Bellingham is, is getting put out there and people are selling this grab merch like crazy. Um, but I think that there's so many people that are waiting to buy this this, this Bellingham. Uh, I think this needs to drop more. In my opinion, it needs to drop more. He's 670K on the Xbox. And, you know, th they've always been around 200,000 coins apart between Xbox and PlayStation. But I think this Jude, I think this Jude on the market would end up being, you know, probably like two and a half to three mil day one. But I think he would maintain a price around like the high 1.8 to 1.9 mil. And then, you know, maybe maybe 2 mil in that first weekend. I think that's kind of where he would be on this market, um, even with the insane stats that he has and with English links coming out of Premier League team of the season. Um, so I think this card will have so much hype. He will be really, really rare, uh, but he's going to be expensive. But I still think you need to see this Bellingham be somewhere around like the uh, under 800K range for sure on PlayStation. If I was going to look to this, to rise up a decent amount um, after the tots drops. So that's one thing I'd be very careful with uh, right now on this market. I know a lot of people are really hyped uh, for that aspect. So again, the content seems like it's going to continue to keep rolling out and it's gonna continue to be sick. So that just does not bode well for the market. But again, like I'm mentioning, I, I really think there are gonna be opportunities to make some quick flips on some cards that are really rare, that are still pretty popular. Some of your Premier League items still have a lot of hype. I'm watching this Gravenberch man because he's so rare, um, but he, he's down, right? And the hype is not with his card right now because it's all with Premier League. So just have to be very careful picking your spots in the market right now and trying to make some coins. Now, I want to talk upgrade packs here for just a second. 
for you guys that are like, Nate, what's the best way to craft these upgrade packs? And these literally took the game by storm yesterday. And I think the reason why some of the impacts tots cards dropped so much too was because these packs are giving out blues like crazy. I mean, I bought a bunch of rare golds on bid for 650 to 700 coins before the content drop yesterday. I probably whipped up about 30 of these Premier League premium uh, packs. And, you know, I opened so many of those and also was able to craft into so many of the 80 plus Premier League player picks. And I packed six blue cards. You see the counters up to 25. No big ones yesterday. Uh, two Bruno Fernandez, two Declan Rice, a Rodri, um, and then one other one, which I, I forget who that was. But, um, yeah, after six blues yesterday, it was crazy. Oh, yeah, I packed Allison, tradable. That was the other one. Um, these these are giving out like insane. They're insane amounts. So if you're wanting to grind a lot of upgrades and spend coins on this, what I would do is buy the gold rares. I know it's about 10 to 11,000 coins per SBC because gold rares are like 950 to 1,000 coins. I know it's a bit of pain. I get that, but I think it's worth your investment because you're going to put in 11 cards and pay 10K to 12K for this upgrade pack. But then what you're going to do is you're getting 12 cards out of that. Your non rares, you can rinse into this SBC. Yes, you do have to make sure that you have five rares. So maybe um, you have to go out and buy one or two. Uh, depending on how many of these premium packs you do, you'll have a couple extra rares in the club. So then you can rinse your gold commons into this. And this one gives out a lot of blues as well. I think that's the best um, grind to do and the best, best crafting method is to buy the golds, do the premium Premier League upgrade, then take your non-rares to the 80 plus player pick if you're trying to pack blues. It also gives out decent fodder. And then once you have a lot of extra non-rares and you don't have as many rares, you can always go into the gold upgrade, which is the normal two players pack. Don't sleep on these because they do give out really good fodder. I opened one of these yesterday that had an 87 in it and then like an 83 behind it. So don't sleep on these because you're going to get a lot of non-rares if you're opening multiples of these packs. That's kind of my best craft. I already did four squads of Cantona yesterday from doing 30 of these packs. Like that's how insane the rewards are. Once you get a Tots duplicate, you know, you have a little bit of fodder in your club to start off with. That helps too. And then you're doing a lot of great SBCs. So especially with Foden, Kulusevsky coming out later this week, the craft in the menus right now is unrivaled. It's, un it's insane. It's awesome. And that's why I think you saw a lot of those cards dropping on the market yesterday in general too. And that really was an extra catalyst to this drop in prices on the market was people were selling cards like Jota, like um, Bernardo Silva, Trent Alexander-Arnold because they were like, oh my goodness, I can sell these cards, go get 200,000 coins, buy some of those gold rares and look at all these insane cards that, that I pack. And then people were packing so many blues, they were selling the tradable version of those blues that they were packing. That's why, again, I think a lot of those TOTS cards crashed a lot on the market yesterday. Now, let's, let's look forward into today on Tuesday a little bit. What are we expecting? Now, last week on Tuesday, and this is where it gets a bit intriguing, with a guaranteed TOTS pack, last week on Tuesday, we had the guaranteed Eredivisie uh, Team of the Season pack SBC. Now, these cards, Mitrovic, you see here, is 185K. Wow, he's down a decent amount. Um, EFL cards have only been in packs for two days, but they're going to be going out of packs on Sunday. So I'm curious to see if EA keep the same schedules as they did last week with the minor league tots released uh, with a guaranteed SBC on Tuesday and then the main league being Premier League this week on Wednesday. So we'll see if they keep that same kind of mojo and same schedule, but we could see the guaranteed EFL TOTS SBC today. It would be it would be dirt cheap. And basically what that would do is it would give everybody a free, really cheap team of the season card to put in their club that they could use for Wednesday's um, Premier League TOTS guaranteed pack, which so many people would be wanting to go and do. It'd be a really fun SBC, of course, with all the insane cards still in the Prem TOTS team that a lot of people have not packed yet. They were going to do that gamble. So today might be the first part of that if we get the guaranteed EFL TOTS. Again, we looked at Foden. We looked at Kulusevsky. Either of those cards could be dropping today via SBC. And then other than that, we, we did have an 83 plus times five that was a part of the team of the season tab in here. And this is going to refresh, not today, but tomorrow. I wouldn't be surprised if they dropped something else. Um, maybe even the Premier League 85 plus times five. That could be something that they would uh, or could drop in the game as well today. Uh, another sort of gamble pack. And I know it's really hard right now, but if, if you're sticking to it, please 
make sure that you're getting your token SBCs done. I think our only token from yesterday was in the Premier League Tots Challenge 3. I know it's tough, but Weekend League is going to be over. So you guys that were playing a lot of those games, now you might have a little bit of time to get the objectives done for Willick um, or for Saka or De Gea to get some progress on these during the week this week when you're taking a break from upgrade packs to get these swap tokens and to continue collecting these because it is important to get these. These this objectives go away in three days. I'm going to have to figure out a way to get those in and get those done to collect the swap tokens to keep on that roll um, until we hit the end of the road with those, which will be on the 20th. So make sure you're keeping up with those tokens. Again, like I mentioned, at the current moment, I believe we are still on. Let me check the little graph here on the Twitter machine. We have had seven released seven tokens have been released so far with only one that is expired the other ones are going to expire towards the end of this week with the sbc prem challenge three and the objective so make sure you're staying on top of those sbc fodder just to talk really quick um a lot of informs are actually up a lot informs are the biggest piece of the fodder market that have moved um 84s 85s 86s if you bought these i know it's like nate when are they going to go up I'd be holding on to these because these are so dirt cheap right now that there's really only one way you can go and that is up. And if you have some patience, I really think this is the exact same thing that happened last year. If you exercise some patience, if you have some fodder invested, like I know some of you guys are really excited for a La Liga team of the season. So you're just holding all these fodder cards. If you exercise some patience and you keep holding on here, I think your, your investment's going to pay out. Um, and your patience is going to be rewarded with holding on to some of these fodder cards like David Alaba 2.7k. I mean, this guy's been 6 to 7k before in the hype times and in the peak times of SBCs. So I think that this guy, I think that these 84s could go up a thousand to 2000 coins apiece before we get to the weekend. We'll have to see. Um, but that's if you're in the fodder world right now, you're just holding because all you need is some more demand um, and some better SBCs. And Again, it looks like those SBCs could be coming. It's just all about when that demand would would uh, would kind of dry up, or sorry, the supply would dry up and the demand would still continue. That's when you're going to see prices of that fodder start to rise up on the market and on this game. So that's kind of the fodder market in general at the moment. I'm going to try to stop the bleeding with some of these coins that have been lost and maybe try to make some coins with some of these other TOTS cards. Again, like I bought Jota tonight at 189, just a couple of them. But a lot of these other ones that I have, I bought for like 230. So I'm losing a lot of coins. But we also have some other investments that could make us some dough. So it's a very, it's an interesting time. I'm motivated to make coins, but I'm also motivated to spend a lot of coins to try to pack some blues um, on this game. No more big blues to mention, of course. But as the counter goes up, we'll try to keep you guys involved and informed and uh, on how the pack pulls are looking. By the way, just a quick note, and I can't believe I didn't talk about this yesterday. I packed Garincha from the 92 plus moments upgrade, which I did like the fastest icon moments upgrade I've ever done in my life. It was out for like an hour and I already had it done. Um, I got Garincha, that was insane. He was an insertion straight into the starting 11, 100% there. I have not finished the weekend league yet. I have just uh, a couple games to go. I'm trying to hit 11 before the night ends. Of course, you can see here, it, it ends in four hours and 11 minutes. I'm currently on nine wins um, of 41 points. So I'm trying to get myself to the rank five here 11 wins 10 more points two wins then i'll gift the uh gift the other ones away to get to this rank would be fantastic i don't think i'm going to try to get to 14 i don't have time for that of course uh before the night ends but hopefully we can get some sick reds i'll be i'll be opening those tomorrow on stream if we can hit that 11 of course before the night is over but again it's a crazy market right now with everything dying in price i have a whole i have a little bit of hope today just a little bit of hope that we might see some bounce backs on part of the market just because some of the stuff has dropped off so much and it's so rare and again since it is rewards day today you might just see the switch kind of flip a little bit on some cards so just if you're trying to trade out there just be very careful i think some of your prem tots cards will bounce back some today but again, the content is so good right now and these prices on the market for these TOTS cards are so cheap that it does kind of make sense why you're seeing a lot of cards go down in value. It's just a huge one big market correction all happening in the course of like a week with how cheap these TOTS cards are. So that's going to be the video today. If you did enjoy it, smash thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate Foot Account and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.